Hi beautiful souls, I just had to drop in here and give you this message. Um, oh, I'm lighting up in goosebumps as I'm saying this, but um, I wasn't going to post anything today. It's Sunday and I always call Sunday, Sunday fun day, where my daughter and I will go out and do things. Well, this morning, um, uh, it was just like a typical Sunday morning, as in got up a little bit late, had a little bit of a sleep in, and you know, let my daughter have her play and do her thing. And I just went, you know what, I'm going to go and do my walk now. I'm going to go for my walk now. I live near the beach, I'm very blessed where I live. Um, and so it was later than what I'd normally go, and um, I was thinking I should go in the afternoon instead, but no, I followed my little intuitive nudge. And coming back, um, I live also near a park and then across the road from that is the beach. And we have swans over there, little well, signet swans uh, amongst other animals. And on my walk back in under the bridge to my uh, apartment block, here is the signet swans with five beautiful brand new little babies. Like if you go over to my Instagram page and those details are in the description box, you'll actually see the videos. Um, and you know, cuteness overload, right? I've been talking about animals and you know, being a light worker and we have this empathic connection to nature and animals and everything else. But um, I intuitively felt I need to run upstairs and grab my daughter and bring her back down to show her these little babies. Now these signet swans live in our area so it wasn't like I would never see them again but just in that moment I went you know what I really need to show her she's just gonna go all crazy over these beautiful beautiful little babies. When we came downstairs so her little face lit up and we ran back downstairs brought a couple little pieces of bread with us and as we got onto the back of the building, so on the back of the um, high rises, we actually have a marina, and you know, obviously, the seaway flows in through there as well. And before I had the opportunity the first time to get my phone and my camera out, this wild dolphin literally appeared from nowhere, and literally, I, we could have virtually bent down in the water over the wall, the birth wall. And touched this dolphin and then it swam off and it went a million miles an hour and in the video on my uh, Instagram page you will see it then appears with a fish in its mouth right and it's just playing in front of us with this fish and then it swims off and it goes down the canal and off it goes long story short so when i came upstairs i got so many different messages from that that i had to share with you all and the first one was following that nudge following that little intuitive niggle and i and as as i've said i've spoken about this on previous videos before and i'm getting goosebumps right now so they're telling me just to keep going the the moral of the story is you have surprises upon blessings coming and literally if you could see my skin it's like chicken skin I call it um, what I'm saying is that first little nudge that you are getting to to go somewhere different to to accept an invitation somewhere to follow that nudge to open the business to you know um, start the platform to you know create whatever it is to apply for that job to meet that person to go with your friends somewhere to go to a different shop whatever that is for you right now this weekend they've all been saying to me it's about just putting the tools down and just allowing spirit and and god to move in your situation so they can bring surprises to you and the thing is the signet swans with the babies was the first surprise right that was the that was a, a big enough surprise beautiful you know we see them a lot but you know this is their brand new babies and you know it's quite cute but then coming back thinking that that was going to be the end of it but no God and the angels are saying, no, we then delivered to you an even bigger surprise. Like no way in a thousand years would I have ever imagined that there would be a wild dolphin. And, and look, we've got SeaWorld and all of those things around us. But, but what I'm saying is in that moment, that micro moment that I've spoken about, 
more blessings are coming so so what I'm feeling for one of you or some of you or a group of you that this in this new season it will start as a surprise that will put that smile back on your face but that little surprise is going to be superseded by something even bigger on the back of it like back to back they're saying then so after I got over all of the excitement of all of that and we came up upstairs, Spirit was basically saying to me, you have to put out this message just to give people that inspiration, that energy boost, that, that, that knowingness that it's coming. Whatever it is for you, it's coming. And they said, go pull an angel card. Now, <clears throat> no word of a lie because I've obviously I've been reading off my wellness cards for a while. I got Serafina. And Serafina is the angel of happy families, right? And when I pulled it out, I was like, okay, I'm not really feeling the whole pregnancy thing or new babies or whatever, but maybe that is for you. Take this how it resonates. But, but the babies, they were saying, this was the babies, the little baby swans, right? This is the first, this is the birthing, they're saying, of this whole new season. We've been in that delivery room we've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this surprise this these blessings this miraculous breakthrough a happy change or addition is coming to your family but wait when I went to look up the meaning and I'm going to read this out to you now so if this is your word claim it believe it receive it write it in the comments you know affirm it over your life over yourself over your situation because that was definitely a message a sign and I don't take them lightly your prayers about family have been heard so maybe this is something that you've been wanting is a child or maybe you've just found out or you're about to find out that you're pregnant um, but I feel that for a lot of you it's going to be this birthing of this new idea this new job this new family this new um, place to live this new career this new business something new that you have been birthing for yourself and you've had all these obstacles and other things coming up against you and it's just really drained you um, I have been sent to watch over you and answer your prayers so that to me today was confirmation for me in my situation that I've been waiting on that my answers are coming that little surprise is going to be then on the back of something even bigger and that is very very soon I am here to tell you about a beautiful change coming to your family and as I said this could very well be a brand new baby but for a lot of you it's going to be this brand new idea this brand new business this brand new career this pivot they're saying in your life you know where you've been traveling in one direction and suddenly you're going to pivot and go somewhere completely different you are going through a period of adjustment right now hasn't that just been the theme of the moment for so many of us adjustment right when you are pregnant you go through nine months of adjustments of all different things it's a mixed bag and you know you don't get pregnant and then have the baby straight away that nine months is to prepare you as a mother as a parent to be able to bring that to a obviously birth the baby right so the baby has to grow you know this is us pouring into the love and the creativity into our project our person our career whatever that's been for you to grow right then harvest time and birthing time like the delivery room is now it's coming it's coming now it might feel chaotic or disorganized right that's probably been pretty much everybody I'm speaking to right now if you're watching this um, video your life has most likely been a succession of chaos and disorganization particularly maybe since the start of the year maybe for the last one to three years maybe for the last one to three months take it as it resonates but be assured that this is simply part of the nesting process so whether that's being a new parent first time parent they're saying for some of you or whether this is the birthing of this beautiful new opportunity this new surprise this new it's and it's going to be beautiful 
right beautiful nurturing loving it's going to have all of that beautiful energy attached to it I will guide you through this time and help you with any upsets that may occur because you know when you've been a first-time parent you are just winging it right you know you can read the books you can go to the classes you can do all of the things but nothing nothing for my parents out there and you will all be nodding your head will ever prepare you for when that first child comes nothing um, <clears throat> any challenges will stimulate forthright discussion and this truth is very cleansing and so this is again the process of the energies at the moment has been decluttering cleansing out clearing out removal of people places and things beliefs old patterns you know um, things in your home whatever that is for you old um, you know health cycles you know as in addictions and all of those types of things they are leaving your life because it's time for this brand new baby this brand new surprise to come into your life and manifest um, it helps you to know that your own feelings and priorities are on a deeper level and allows you to share with others in a deeply honest way then when the purpose of the turmoil has been served remember there is purpose in the pain there is a testimony in the test God did not put you through everything that you've just been through just because no there is going to be a bigger purpose for it this happy change or addition to your family is divinely ordered surrender any worries to God and allow heaven to serve as your spiritual family who helps guides and watches over you we love you very much just like a mother loving her child her brand new little baby right we're going to nurture it we're going to look after it and they are doing the same with you right now so brace yourself be prepared be ready they're saying i'm getting goosebumps again that this is birthing season whatever it is that you've been waiting for you've been in pain about you know it's felt tight and restrictive and you felt like restrained and just in this cocoon of when is my break going to happen for those of you that are resonating with this many uh, message your time is now it's coming now be open and i'm very confident that that is why they said to me in these last few messages the next one to three days go out they're just giving me this message now and be playful be playful like the dolphin go watch the video on my um, instagram page um, that is what they're wanting you to do because you're releasing all of those worries and your burdens to god and the angels to take care of they want to bring you in beautiful, happy surprises. Surprises that you will not even think that you, A, deserve, B, will just be totally out of the blue. And this is the beautiful part about a surprise. We're not meant to know everything. Um, but for a lot of you, you know that this baby's coming, as in the job, the business, the money, the relationship, whatever it is, or the actual baby. Um, for some of you, that in itself is going to be a surprise, or it's going to be a surprise to you as to just how beautiful it actually turns out. So stay hopeful, stay loved up, stay prayed up. Beautiful souls, have the most amazing Sunday. If you like this little video, give it the little thumbs up. Go check out my Instagram video on the dolphins and the little cygnet swans. If you are divinely led, hit that little notifications bell and I will see you in here for the next one. Have the most amazing day. Blessings to you all.